Euros 2024 has finally arrived, the final. Um, plenty of places in uh, Benidorm to uh, watch it. Um, but just be careful because uh, the local police here have got some uh, strict guidelines in place here. So anybody caught with a glass bottle on the street will be instantly arrested. And there's no, there's no if or buts with that. Um, there are plenty of places that obviously are going to be showing the game. Uh, we're coming up to one here now. This is called the Titanic. Um, they show all the sports here. The people that own this place have been, have been here since uh, 2003. Uh, very good food there. So that's the first point of contact for the football that will be shown. There'll be madness tonight there. Just out the way of everything. Uh, other places locally around here to watch the, the match or any other sporting events. There's uh, Wookie Hollow 2, which is, uh, I believe, a, um, a Liverpool FC-themed establishment. Um, we've been there for a couple of breakfasts, um, and very good they are too. Um, other rules in place here, they've got um, certain areas for the Brits to watch the football today. Um, they really have clamped down on a, a few bits and pieces here while the while the match is on and obviously before it because the game itself uh, it kicks off um, 9 p.m. local time here. So if everyone's going to be on the source from midday, uh, it could get rather messy. So. There are plenty of um, quieter places to watch this football match. Um, along the beachfront would be pretty good too, because they've got the Jolly Roger. That's brand new. That's only been open about four weeks. Um, that would be a good place to watch the football. Um, other places like, uh, obviously, the Western Saloon. We are in there yesterday. They are all gearing up for that. That's just in front of the uh, Ambassador Player Hotel. Uh, obviously, uh, you've got the Hotel California, Insomnia. Um, all those, all those places will be bouncing probably from now on, right through to kickoff and beyond it. But like I say, there's going to be a lot of police down there today. Um, so if you are going, if you are going in there today, stay stay in your groups. Don't take any valuables in there, um, and try and use your card as opposed to cash. I know a lot of places now here in Benidorm don't take cards. I'm not sure what the thinking behind that is because I would have thought that um, having cash on the premises just causes issues, but obviously not. So there's Tommy's Bar, that's another place that does the karaoke down there. So there's Tommy's Bar. Um, a lot of good acts in there. I'm sure he'll be watching, they'll be putting the football on. We're just approaching the Wookiee Hollow 2. <coughs> They've got TV screens all over the place. So I'm sure that place will be bouncing inside and out. Uh, the clouds finally burnt off here too, because the last three or four hours it's been it's been fairly humid with the with the cloud cover we had. The sun's finally set a load of us, so somebody thinks it's around 33 degrees, and I wouldn't disagree with that. There's Wookie Hollow too. Two guys there using cash points. That's uh, that's expensive. Don't do that here, because uh, you get robbed blind. Best way is to go and take your card to an indoor market and get uh, a better rate for your money. Because using those Kajeros, those cash points, it's expensive. Yeah. And they all vary too. And they all do, they all do, they all they all charge quite a lot of money. Plenty of supermarkets down here. British ones. And Spanish. There's another bar there. The uh, 
by Cablus. So that's the way down to carry on walking straight down there, that's the beach. If you turn a left or right just before you get to the last turn off to the beach, that's the Hotel Mediterraneo which leads you either to new or old town depending on which way you go. So that's what you want to do for the football, be south of these bars. But be wary, the police will be out to get anybody who misbehaves. Adios.